I was actually named after my grandmother. So in my culture, you are named after an individual so that you can depict um, their values or their attributes. Growing up, being the only female child to my dad, I received some form of pampering, which made me feel very loved. The love of my father towards me actually was the first standard of how um, I got to know that you have to be loved. How he treated me at a very young age set the tone right for me in what to expect, even in friendship and in all aspects of my life um, as, a, as a girl or as a woman, as it were. I remember one evening I had gone out with some friends and upon returning I saw my mom crying and I got scared and the news um, was my dad has gone to be with the Lord. Everyone is wailing, everyone is screaming. I felt very broken. Suddenly, my mind was blank. I couldn't think, and I didn't know what to say. You don't really feel the pain until everyone leaves, and then you are left alone. That is when you feel the loss in its enormous capacity. I wouldn't say I sort of knew God very well. So, um, well, I had, had, I had heard of him. He exists, his love, his all sort of things. But all I knew was I was in pain and God could stop or prevent death. So as to why he didn't even prevent it, I didn't really feel he, he cared that much. Later that year after my dad passed, I kept struggling and felt nothing could really make me feel that void. I kept feeling very alone. It was during those times that um, I had a small phone and then I was on Facebook and I, had, I kept seeing a pop-up that said, God loves you, God loves you. I would often ignore it, but it kept coming back. So at a point in time, I felt that God was actually drawing my attention to this. So I actually clicked on it. And when I did, it redirected me to a website that's gave me some encouraging scriptures on the fact that I wasn't alone and that God really loved me. There was also the option to speak to someone in real time. I started having conversation with this um, woman who responded from the website, sometimes using her life experiences to let me know that I wasn't alone and that God actually cared about me. She shared one of the scriptures with me on saying that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Gradually, I began to feel that God was indeed with me and I, could, I would feel an overwhelming presence of love that usually engulfed me once I wanted to fall into um, a solitude of loneliness. I would often just feel that I'm not alone, that indeed God loved me. Eventually, I lost touch, but she had laid a very good foundation. I went ahead to do more, to learn more, to grow in Christ. And I attended an indicators conference in Accra. And I was amazed because 
they basically show you how you can use technology to win people for Christ, build them for Christ, and then help them to share their faith also. That was when it dawned on me that these people were actually those who helped me some time ago when I reached out by clicking on the God Loves Me pop-up. This inspired me and I knew I had to be a part of this indigenous community under the Great Commission Movement of Ghana. It's been amazing being in the capacity now to help others to come know the Lord, to feel cared for, to feel loved through the mobile phone, through technology, through social media. And now I can see clearly how God has used my pain, my struggles, even though I lost my dad, to serve as comfort for others, to have empathy, to be able to help others who are going through the same pain. Indeed, my name has become evident. I am comfort of Ghana.